G'day guys and girls, got a 2007 model Pajero, this has got the 3.2 litre engine in it, manual transmission, this one was booked in for a remap but the customer did report to us that the car was a little bit low on power and, and pretty much we had to get to the bottom of that problem first before we got in there and started tuning. So when we done our baseline run, we found that the boost was only on three pound of boost and based on our experience, it's, I didn't believe it. So even though the gauge was correct, I didn't believe it. So got looking into the um, manifold side of things and obviously the map sensor on these Pajeros and Tritons is mounted up here, just above where the, uh, the fuel filter is. Now there's got a soft hose that runs down to a solid steel line and then from the solid steel line, goes back into the inlet manifold um, and then I'll show you this here this is the line that comes off the uh, bar back to the manifold and as you can see a little split right through there so this has been leaking for quite some time because it's actually blown out the external felt like a little bit of heat shrink around the end of it it's actually blown that out over time so this has probably been leaking for well over a year or two so Basically replaced the line, boost is back up now, and we've obviously completed our tune, but I just thought I wanted to touch base on that because this is a common fault, and every time we do get these models of cars in, this is something that we do see quite frequently. So if you've if you got one of these cars and you suspect that it is down on power, this is where you need to go. Go, go and check that out. More than likely, you're gonna find your issue there. Um, and then from there, it's, you know, book it in, then we can tune it for you. But... Okay, so we've done our dyno run. Um, normally we would, video the dyno run but it's kind of a bit boring watching diesel cars so we'll skip that part and get straight to the point and try and keep the video as short as we can so stock with the map sensor leak as i touched base on before is 63 kilowatts and then with the map sensor leak corrected or fixed it's 76 kilowatts so you're talking like say 2200 revs it's gone from like close to i'll say 205 newton meters to like you know just under 400 newton meter oh sorry not that one this one here to just under the uh, 300 newton meters just by fixing a 50 cent piece of hose so just keep that in mind if you do have one of these cars and he's lacking power check that hose because substantial increase in power just by fixing that before you even think about a remap so moving on from there we've now fixed the car and then we've obviously done the remap and ignoring the stock figures and we just look at the gain that we've had from how the customer bought the car to now you know he's picked up like 78 percent more torque so you know 78 percent more at 2000 revs 76 percent at 2200 and you know 76 percent at 2600 so a lineal increase in torque across the rpm range from like 2000 revs onwards yes it has picked up from 1800 but you know this is a it does have a relatively smallish sort of turbo, so it takes, and this does sound a bit backwards, but they are a bit lazy off the bottom here. So unfortunately with these 3.2s, they don't start coming to life from around 1800 revs, but it's a manual car, so you can pretty much rev match it and keep the revs where you need to be. Um, and as always, just for some people do get confused, dotted line is the torque on this side, straight clean line is the power on the left side, and the RPM is obviously on the bottom. So. That's our 2007 3.2 remap. Um, don't forget to uh, click the bell, subscribe to the channel if you want to continue watching our stuff. And um, yeah, check out our social media. We update that daily and so on. So once again, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, have a great day.